Well, the Dow's first close above 23,000 comes nearly 30 years to the day since Black Monday. The blue chip index drop of roughly 23 percent remains the biggest ever, and many investors are wondering if it could happen again. Dominic Chu takes a look. The investing world today is a lot different than it was back in 1987. The Dow off more than 500 points. Paper losses more than $500 billion. But that hasn't dampened the debate over whether another market crash like Black Monday could happen again. With respect to the the massive drop that was seen on Black Monday, uh, it is obviously of a very low likelihood, but we would never say that it couldn't happen in today's markets. In fact, there are a lot of factors in place that, if anything, make it potentially more likely than it would have been back then. Among the factors that could make a big market crash more likely, well, the rise in electronic computer-based trading that has accelerated the pace of the market action, as well as that move towards index investing and exchange-traded funds, or ETFs. If everyone is in the same investments, what happens if everyone wants to sell at the same time? But there are also a lot of reasons why we won't see a big market crash anytime soon. The first is that there's still massive liquidity in the system. Um, Even though the Fed looks to be potentially raising rates in December, um, the U.S. is still supplying liquidity at a massive pace. Same thing for Europe, same thing for Japan, same thing for China. Second thing is the aggregate global economic picture is strong and improving. Trading systems and safeguards are much more efficient and robust today than they were back in 1987. And the recent trend has been for investors to continue to buy even relatively small market drops. So could another Black Monday happen? Of course, anything is possible. But most on Wall Street don't think it's a likely scenario. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Dominic Chu.